Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 3rd, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of bearishness show up in the market, but it really didn't hurt anything overall in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video. Top of the morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I got to tell you, it, it's very humbling every day when I see the number of people that watch the videos. You guys are truly awesome, and I thank you so much. Let's take a look at um, these charts, see if we could gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, I want to point out that we have an upside trend here and that bullish trend held on yesterday. We didn't get enough bearishness in here to break the trend down. We held on to those price supports that I mentioned yesterday in the chart. No major problem here um, on that short side rally to the upside. Now, the problem comes in when we kind of take a look at this downtrend. Our downtrend and then the significant price resistance that we see across this chart over here, that's where we're going to have to deal with um, this market. Can we provide enough energy with all of these earnings reports coming out over the next couple of days? Can we provide enough inspiration to push these markets through that resistance level? Or will the bears really show up here and defend this area? And I really don't know the answer to that, but we can probably assume that we've got uh, you know those bears on this side of the line and we've got those bulls on this side of the line, and it's really going to depend how this battle right here is going to come out that will determine maybe the short-term future of the market. So as you guys know, for me, in order for this to be a good place to be buying stocks, I never, one of my rules in my trading is I don't buy stocks at or near price resistance. And I got to say, all of our indexes are right there at price resistance. So for me, I'm going to be erring on the caution side here. I would be more of a profit taker up here than I would be a buyer. But I'm going to be watching this area closely. If we happen to break through this area up here and then hold it as that higher low up here, well, then all bets are off. I'm going to be turning bullish here on the market and be ready to buy to the upside. But we've got to prove that we can hold that higher low. We've had these breakouts before. There was one right here where we broke through, didn't prove to hold. So remember, once we break those resistance, we need that proof that we can hold on. Until that occurs, I'm going to be just a little bit cautious as we press that resistance in the charts. If we take a look at our SPY, very similar situation in the SPY. Our bullish trend maintained yesterday. As a matter of fact, almost nothing happened here yesterday with just a little bit of seesawing and volatility um, yesterday on the Pelosi visit. Um, um, we held on to price support in the chart. But, well, there we have it again. There's that resistance in the chart and this significant overhead resistance that we need to overcome. And it'll be, well, it'll be interesting to see if the earnings provide enough fuel to uh, push us through. But even as we saw yesterday after the bell, there's enough mixed reaction. I think there's still a little bit of uncertainty on that case. But breakthrough here and hold the higher low, hey, I'm all in. Um, let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also in a very similar situation here. As you can see, we've got fairly significant levels of price resistance to deal with in the chart. And we still have this uncomfortable downtrend that we're pressing against right now. So again, that question remains, even though we have this bullish upside trend, do we have enough energy to push on through? Um, that area right there. So I'm going to be watching that pretty darn closely here to see whether or not we can break that level and get up here and prove that the bulls have the energy to hold on up here. Then let's take a look at our Russell. Our Russell, 
Unfortunately, very similar situation. Russell, significant resistance level in the chart, substantial overhead resistance we're trying to decide whether or not we can make it through up there and um, IWM served as one of the stronger of the indexes yesterday by the close holding up pretty darn well here um, overall so um, watching that upside trend we've got that price support in here as well so keep a close eye on this battleground right in here it could really um, give us the clues um, if the bulls have the energy or if the bears are going to defend Take a look at the VIX. If we take a peek at our VIX, we popped up here a little bit. And that adds just a little bit of uncertainty, but it wasn't enough to really make you say uh, something's really out of sync here. So um, if we take a look across this area, we have a pretty good level of price resistance. And although we tested that level of price resistance, we didn't break through and we maintained this downtrend as well. So at this point in time on the VIX, the fear has been dropping out. I am a little bit worried that it may be a little bit of complacency that's kind of building in here. We've kind of got this rush to buy risk right now. Uh, maybe just a little bit of complacency building into the market. But that being said, if they can continue to hold this resistance level, there's no reason to believe that they can't at this point, then we want to watch for that potential. And with the bullishness that we're seeing this morning in the futures, we could push down. Now, I do think it's interesting this morning when we look at our index charts, we have futures pushing to the upside. But um, it should be noteworthy that, that Asian markets were pretty mixed last night, um, relatively flat, and European markets are mixed and relatively flat. So we've got a big you know, um, bravado going on here in the pre-market, pushing us back up. But I think we want to be a little bit careful with that. The world may be just a little bit on the cautious side, wondering what the China retaliation might be for this visit from Nancy Pelosi. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our T2122, this continues to be a problem um, for us in the market. Although we had a little bit of selling yesterday, it just wasn't enough to really relieve some of that overbought condition here in our T2122. So I, I guess the question is, will there be enough inspiration that we can continue to push into this upside move? Can we continue to see those buyers pushing us back up here? And I think there is that possibility. There's enough earnings reports. It's a huge day of earnings. And the next couple of days are going to be that way. Will there be enough inspiration to push us back up? But we'll want to watch that resistance level in those index charts because we could push up and still find that resistance um, would be the battleground with the bears. Now, if we find some reason for those bears to become inspired, and who knows what that might be, but if they find that reason to become inspired, we do want to remember that we have a big open downside here available. And I will tell you this, that there's never been a time in T2122 that this didn't eventually resolve itself back lower when we are up here and holding up here for so long. So watch that carefully. In fact, there could be that surprise event that really moves us sharply. So watch carefully in case that does occur. And what I would suggest is if you're pressing up to those resistance levels, maybe think about taking some profits. Maybe think about lightening up a little bit just in case that that turn comes to the downside. Not predicting it, just saying it's probably going to occur in the very near future. Let's take a look in um, our T2107. T2107 tells us that we had a little bit of rest yesterday on T2107, 28% of the stocks holding in there above their 200 day moving average. So we have had that improvement, but it hasn't been quite enough to um, resolve that downtrend here. And we're right up here at that point where we have failed so many times before. So watch that closely. We're a little bit extended and we're pressing against price resistance levels, but that doesn't mean we can't push through. At some point in time, the market will gain that energy to push through. Is it today or tomorrow? Maybe. Keep an eye on that. Watch that one closely. Our T2108 
T2108 has been extremely strong. As a matter of fact, I would say maybe just a little bit too strong. Um, um, maybe a little bit too much on that bullish side as we continue to stretch and rush in to buy. The fear of missing out is strong right now in the market, um, inspiring a lot of retail traders to chase in. If you saw that CNBC story, it said retail traders are really piling in but institutions, maybe not so much. So we'll want to watch that carefully. We're pretty darn expired, uh, inspired here for the upside. About 70% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average at the close, and we're pushing up this morning. We've broken that downtrend, significant levels of resistance. So once again, we're pushed to those upper levels. We may need a little pullback or rest, to test those trends and test those support areas before we can build enough energy to go on higher. But then again, we have that opportunity with all these earnings reports. We could kind of just push right on through right now and prove to hold and keep on moving. So watch carefully for any of those signals to occur. Let's take a look at our um, um, T2101. T2101, um, well, it just hasn't been giving the best of information here <laughs> recently in the chart. Notice that we have resumed that push to the upside here on T2101. But we're up here um, at these top levels trying to figure things out, We um, whether we're going to move through or not. And unfortunately, if we go back here, whoops, if we go back here and, well, for Pete's sake, there we go. If we go back here and we look at um, our volume yesterday, it was interesting how strong the volume was here in the Dow. And as we rallied in the QQQ, it remained weak. So I'm not sure that we're getting the best of data from that T2101. Um, I think we need to be paying or focusing very close attention on these resistance levels in the chart as probably the, the major clue whether we're going to break through or break back down. So watch those closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We've got a few things on that calendar to be thinking about. Nothing that's going to be you know, just that substantial mover in all likelihood. We've got our uh, motor vehicle um, sales numbers here this morning. We've got um, um, our um, our uh, mortgage applications coming out here today. So we'll want to keep an eye on those. Um, we've got a PMI composite number, factory orders and ISM. Now, as you, none of these are major market movers. So um, could be a rather light day on the calendar, but we do have that petroleum status. That's something we want to keep an eye on. Um, last time we saw some negative numbers in that petroleum status, and that it's kind of helping to support those stocks or um, oil stocks, which um, fuels that inflation. So we'll want to watch that closely. And then we do have another Fed speaker here um, uh, this morning that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, keep an eye um, on Thursday. We're going to be rolling into Thursday. International trading goods and jobless claims. We know both of those are potential market moving reports. We have that challenger job cut report as well. Not quite it quite the mover um, that the other two are, but we'll want to be paying attention to that. Um, and then remember, we've got our, um, at the end of the week, we've got that employment situation report that tends to be kind of a market moving report. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now, our earnings calendar, pretty darn substantial here today. Um, over 300 companies listed on the calendar. Now, obviously, I can't cover everything that's reporting today, but if you click the link below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get my list of notables for today that you might want to be paying attention to for the day's um, earnings events. Um, we're going to hear from some airlines. Um, Today, we've got Allegiant that will be reporting today. We're going to get some insurance from Allstate reporting today. Um, CARS cars will be um, reporting today. This will be interesting um, to continue to watch because um, automobile sales have been one of the strong areas of the market. They've been holding up pretty well. 
um, even though those prices are quite elevated. So watch that closely. Um, we're going to hear from Clorox. So we've got um, a little bit of defensive sector that will be in there reporting today. We're going to catch a um, um, report from GoDaddy today. So watch that close. Um, we've got um, MCK. Um, so Mickelson healthcare has been really, really strong here lately. And I've talked about that several times and I'll talk about it here in just a little bit, but watch that closely. That could be, um, a telltale, um, report for today. Um, we're also going to hear from, uh, we got Ruger in there, um, reporting. We're going to hear from, um, Under Armour. And we're going to hear from Yum Brands. So there's a few of those stocks that we'll be reporting today. Um, how how this all comes out, I certainly do not know. Um, but watch those closely because there's been an awful lot of emotion around these um, reports. You know, for example, we had um, PayPal have a great report yesterday, uh, moving substantially higher, and then we had AMD kind of disappoint moving lower here this morning. So we're getting that mix in in um, these reports and these big moves um, as a consequence of those reports. So I think we have to be a little bit careful around all these earnings and the next couple of days are going to be huge days of earnings. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can click that thumbs up button, or excuse me, uh, click that subscribe button, click the, th the bell icon when it pops up so you be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy um, please do me that favor click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment now I apologize yesterday I got a little bit busy and I didn't get a chance to answer um, comments if you post today um, I promise you I will be on task and answer um, those comments and thank you so much for everyone who does it's the engagement with the video that creates the growth and you guys are truly awesome. Um, let's take a look at a few of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You should be doing your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the risk of every trade that you take. And you should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Um, one idea that um, I want to point out here, take a look at TLT. Now, TLT, now I have a bias in this trade. I'm in this position. And yesterday we had kind of an ugly bearish candle as we saw some of those uh, bond rates moving back up just with a fear of the Pelosi ramifications. So let's watch that closely here in this chart. I still think this is developing and I think what we're seeing is high prices are finally starting to fix high prices. And what I mean by that is higher rates and higher rates are crushing mortgage demand. So we're likely going to see banks forced to move those mortgage rates back down. And we're likely to see the banks having to buy up bonds to secure their depositors. So watch that carefully. I think there may be that chance that we start moving this up here. I expect it to be a slow mover. So don't expect this to be just one of those things that just takes off and runs hard. Um, and it still has that potential that it could fail here. So uh, we're not out, not out of the woods in this trade at all, but something to watch. And please keep in mind, I do have a bias on this because I'm in the trade. Um, let's take a look at a few others um, in here. Um, take a look at UPS. UPS, um, I've been talking about UPS and FedEx here for some time. And UPS has made that move breaking through this resistance. And notice we've got a couple of days, a little rest in here. I think we're going to need a few more days of rest or consolidation. But if this market is going to be bullish and if we're going to be pushing up, then we're going to need these shippers to really start showing us that the consumer is out there spending. Um, so watch that closely. That will be um, an important sign of the health of the market, uh, whether or not that can move up. If it does, you might want to be a part of that move. Take a look at um, Rivian. Rivian um, has been moving up, and I've talked about this one several times as well over the last month. Rivian moving through to the upside, 
running in this little upside trend looking good now I think a little bit of rest or consolidation might be due because we're up just a few too many days one of my rules guys is that if I am up five to seven days in one direction I would expect a consolidation or a pullback to occur so watch that carefully if this rest or pulls back consolidates in here then look for that next upside as far as those car manufacturers go you want to keep an eye on all of them. Take a look at uh, General Motors breaking this downtrend, moving in this upside position, little rest or pullback the last couple of days. Look for that next opportunity for GM to maybe move higher. And Ford right now, I think, is really extended. So this needs a bit of a consolidation or pullback. Um, rarely can you maintain a trend in any stock that is that steep. So watch that close. We'll probably get some kind of a rest or pullback. But if that can pull back and consolidate, maybe come back into here, into this trend someplace, look for that next opportunity into Ford. Some good stocks really starting to come up through those bottoms. Another place that you might want to be keeping an eye on is Visa, MasterCard, some of those pay system stocks. Um, because we saw PayPal um, perform so well um, last night, these may start to perk up, maybe hold on to trends. However, if they don't, if we continue to bounce into this resistance level and fail, there's your next potential short idea um, that could occur if these pay systems don't continue to perk up and pick up. Um, because we have to assume if we're rallying back up, we're a consumer-based economy, that the consumer is healthy. Now, I'm not convinced of that, but we'll want to watch that closely because we're going to need these stocks to really show some bullishness if this truly is the bullish trend that's going to take us back to the top of the market. So with that, guys, there's a few stocks for you to look at today. Um, I apologize. I I'm too long-winded in the beginning of this to um, cover a whole lot of them, but I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I'll wish you all the very, very best. I wish you all great profits. We'll see you right back here first thing Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.